All right. Well, everybody, check this out. A 2020 study showed that two in three black Americans don't see themselves properly represented in the media. So one entertainment industry veteran is hoping to help change that by teaching the next generation how to take control of their own narratives. Amy Pafrav joins us now to share how the Los Angeles Legacy Project <laughs> hopes to change that. I love this story. Yeah. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. That's right. We got to own our own stories. Good morning to you both. That same study also reported that 90% of Gen Z think better distribution opportunities for black creators is key to better representation. So why not help them learn to create and share their own content? Daniel Ferguson is teaching kids the tools it took him a career to acquire in hopes they'll shape a more inclusive world right now. Representation matters. Producer director Daniel Ferguson started the Legacy Project to make sure that happens. So our ultimate goal is to arm truth tellers, have them tell their truth, tell their stories to a world that often doesn't pay attention to them. Daniel knows what it's like to have to fight for attention. Growing up in South Los Angeles, he climbed the ranks from camera op to editor to director and now producer. In 2014, while working as a producer on The Dr. Phil Show, Michael Brown's death inspired Daniel to action. One of the things that pushed the, the narrative of Michael Brown was this pro forma idea that he was this big, bad uh, criminal. If he had the ability to tell the stories, or kids like him had the ability to tell stories, that pro forma idea wouldn't be so readily accepted. The Legacy Project was founded to help kids flip the script. Daniel partners with journalism classes in the LA Unified School District, like here at CATS, Communication and Technology School. My ultimate goal, my long-term goal here, is that these kids could have the power to tell their own stories and humanize themselves in the, in, the, in the view of America. And it's not just about helping them make content, it's about preparing these kids for future employment. Having actual, you know, real world credits uh, is difficult. I try it, but you know, I'm happy to be able to help create the experience for some students uh, so that they can say, hey, look, I have these, these credits to my name, I have this experience to my name. You too. Welcome to our Student of the Month segment. This is where we highlight the achievements of students who bring their best months. Hold on one second. Quiet all around. Daniel says he never intended to teach, but he does come from a long line of teachers, and he couldn't ignore a calling with stakes this high and rewards even higher. I, I literally get to see lives change. When a student says to you, oh, I can do this, or oh, this is possible for me, uh, when you see those possibilities happen right there in front of your face, it's like, it's really, really amazing. It's really huge. The ultimate power is in owning and sharing your story. The Los Angeles Legacy Project cur currently partners with seven elementary and high schools and hopes to expand the program to include more schools, learn more, and m make a donation to support this incredibly important work at LALegacyProject.com. We talk about this all the time. Got to right? see it to be it, and this guy is just yeah. doing such extraordinary work. Okay, so beyond acquiring, you know, more schools and teaching more kids, what's his ultimate goal, Amy? <laughs> Well, Daniel told me his biggest dream is to give students the ability to teach the program so that they can be the peers and they can teach the other kids how to do this and also create a whole broadcast network where the schools within the program can share news with each other. So if a new crop of spectrum anchors and reporters come out of the Legacy Project, that's not really a bad legacy at all, is it? Absolutely. Bring it Come on. on. Yeah, we're waiting for you. Thank you, Amy. We're exactly. waiting for you.